Hey guys, what's up? I just recently finished um, solve the issue with the command window popping up. So let me tell you a little bit about the backstory behind this. Uh, what happened with that? I went to a site and I was watching a video, a stream video. Normally, a stream video would would somehow run some type of advertisement, and then I click off the advertisement and I will watch the video. Right? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But like my normal routine, when I watch a video, I would click off the advertisement and then the video would, would start running. But this time, strangely, when I was watching the video, it didn't show that popped up, you know, where I click off the advertisement and I watch the video. But instead, the video itself, the player, it just blank. A few minutes later, I start noticing on the video, a, a download, download on the, on the box. So, let me, let me, let me see, how can I explain this? Now let me just pull this out. Okay, so imagine this, this was the player, okay? Normally there would be a popped up, like right here. Right, and they would say, click to turn off. Right, instead of having this, you know, normally it seems to be okay. Instead of having this, it seems like somebody probably put some type of special script. And then I noticed down in the bottom right here, suddenly look like it's downloading something. Could it have like percentage or something? When I noticed that, I hurry up and, of course, like I normally do, I click off the site. But for some strange reason, the download seemed to finish. Well, I didn't notice anything until I closed my web browser. Right when I closed my web browser, a strange command prompt, a strange command prompt popped out briefly and then disappeared. Okay, I thought, no, that was strange. You know, I don't know what's going on, but that was strange. So, so the next, well, I didn't think much of it. Instead, I first. First thing I do when that happened, I clear the browser. Then I go here, I go history, and then I clear the browser, right? And then I close it again, it seemed to happen again. So that's rare again, right? So instead, I went, the second thing I did was, I go to uh, control panel and uninstall. You know that's how this is a freshly new, yeah, because I recently reinstalled Google Console. But anyway, you should always check what is the most recent thing that happened, you know? So, so when I open this, um, uh, on the start, you know, the program on the start feature right here. And I noticed in the very beginning, there's a program that I don't recognize. It's called OneDrive. OneDrive, but so I don't recognize it, so I uninstall that too. Something about OneDrive. OneDrive. Okay? But it's weird when I search OneDrive, it doesn't seem like a. I don't know what is it, but but one OneDrive seemed to install itself into. So I uninstalled it just in case something is wrong. Okay? So after I've done that, Right? I thought that's the end of it, but actually it's not. So the very next day, I turn on my computer. Alright, and then, um, the funny thing is, instead of one command prompt, two command prompt popped out and then disappeared. So I'm like, wait a minute, that's never happened before, you know? Normally when I turn on my computer, this command prompt never show itself. So I'm researching and everything. It seemed like I got some type of weird adware, malware, or virus. I don't know which one it is, but if you guys know what it is, just leave in a description, uh, comment below so maybe other people can understand what's going on because I'm not really an expert but however so when that happened I turn on my um, tax manager right and I want to see what is running in my background and I notice like Google Chrome installer this and that maybe I'm thinking uh, when I turn on my computer well before I turn on my computer so when I noticed there was a command prompt so the next thing I did was I did a recovery point right here you could go to your flag or you could go to control panel system security action center recovery point right and I click on open uh, system restore and then when I open system restore it will uh, it will let me choose the, the restore point so I did that right after I've done that the computer restarted okay I turn on the computer and I still notice the command prompt came out so I'm like whoa I guess the restore point didn't really solve anything it probably helped you know uh, change back whatever setting with May or uh, delete any file that was recently installed. It won't touch your um, media file and whatever, so you don't have to worry about that. Document media file, you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, so when I turn on the computer, I see the command prompt again. Two of them this time. Right, so I hurry up and turn on to my uh, task manager. I want to make sure my startup, most of the things are disabled that I'm not familiar with. You know, I disable uh, Adobe and everything. So on the processing, I notice uh, the thing that's active. You know, you see that like, memory using and stuff. And I noticed that uh, Google Installer, Google Chrome, and Google Handle is all active. Right, so I hurry up and delete it. 
Before I do that, before I delete it, I go right click onto it and I go open file location. So I end task with all of these and then I delete this. Hurry up, I delete this. I delete just in case. This could be infected, so I deleted it. Alright, so once that's done, I still look for anything that you know certainly taking up a lot of memory and stuff like that. You know. Um and of course I run uh, a quick scan. And then um so after I've done all that, apparently when I try opening uh, Google Chrome, it doesn't open. Right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to need to reinstall the whole thing again. So so what I did was I go to control panel, uninstall, and I look for Google Chrome probably somewhere down there, and uninstall Google Chrome. So that doesn't doesn't end there. So after you uninstall Google Chrome, you go to um, hold on to window and press R. You go to run, and then you type in reg edit. All right, and say yes. It will pop up uh, this thing right here. Okay, what you want to do? Go to current user. Go to software. Right, current user software. And then um, I noticed on the C section, there's a there's a folder called Chromium. Chromium. How you say? It? Let's see. Chrome. Chromium. I think this one. Chromium. Yeah, Chromium. I don't remember installing Chromium or anything like that. I don't know what it is, but I remember someone talking about it. That chromium is it's not that you see it, you should delete it. So I deleted chromium just in case because I'm not, I don't know why I have chromium. You know, I don't know what is chromium. I see in the Google site. Let's see. Uh, Google Chrome. I know that's in the Google site. Uh, down here, it's a chromium. You know, this is the first time I heard of it, but chromium, I don't know how it got into my system, but, but I mean, I thought if anything, it should be just uh, Google Chrome. So anyway, you, you see chromium? I deleted it, nothing happened uh, to my computer, it didn't cause any error or anything, so you could delete it Chromium, okay? But uh, when I go down, I go down to Google, even though I uninstall Google in, uh, in right here, even though I uninstall Google here, Google folder is still right here, so, so I deleted the Google folder, okay? So after I'm done with that, alright, I wanna, I use, uh, the Internet Explorer to to try to download uh, Google Chrome again. So I go Internet Explorer, right, and I type in Google, right, and I type in Google Chrome. Okay, I get to this page. This is the app. I get to this page. So I click on to download. It don't seem to download. It just somehow skip over, and then it didn't download the 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 Google Chrome uh, application. So, I find that kind of weird. So, I've been trying it like more than three times or four or five times. It just don't download for some strange reason. So, instead, I went to my other computer. I hope you have another computer because, yeah, you're going to need it. I went to my other computer. Oh, by the way, when you uh, uninstall Google Chrome, don't worry about all your setting. You know, all your setting, your, your bookmark and everything. Okay, because uh, the, when you log into Google, it will load up your, your existing setting from before. So, you don't worry about that. Anyway, so you need to uninstall and reinstall. So, anyway, I went to my other computer. And I went to the internet, in the browser, I downloaded In my other computer, I still have Google Chrome, so I went to the other internet, and downloaded Google Chrome Right? I have this like Google Chrome setup right here Okay, I download it And I put it into this computer, and I run it That way I can install Install the browser Okay? So, after I finish installing, I notice There's no longer command prompt anymore Seem to fix the problem, I think Well, for sure, I know it's the uh, uh, the browser is causing an issue. It's causing this command prompt to to show up for some reason, you know Show up briefly and then it might be changing some setting. I don't know what it is But in the beginning when I turn on the computer, I saw two command prompt turn on I'm thinking it's because maybe Google the browser was running in the background to update or, or install or something after I did a Restore point. So I think that could be the reason why Why the command prompt was, was turned on because you know when I open the browser it always turn on so you should, you should try that, and after that, when you're done with everything, you should go down to your your uh, to make sure you got the updated version. Okay, go down to help, and then about Google, and then you get this page right here. Make sure it's updated, and after that, you want to go down to your your setting. Okay, you want to go down to your setting and make sure all the setting is, is correct the way you wanted it. Okay, click on advanced. You can see more setting here. 
And uh, one other thing I recently changed. See, like, all the settings the same, but I recently changed. Let me see. Make sure you always, you know, have that on. Uh, where I recently changed. Continue running back when current now. You know, let's see. If you're unsure of where somewhere, if you're unsure of the setting, you can always reset it to default. That way, any changes made by the previous, you know, you can reset it. But, um, let me see. I changed this. I don't want them to have autofill. I don't want to have any, uh, uh, password safe. Uh, content. Let's see. Control. Let's see. Of course, these I must be on. Sensation. Predict. No Where is it? Make sure your... Is it Google? Ah, where did I change it at? See, Google Chrome is using the protect. The current content setting? I believe it's content setting. Go here, and then you have more options. So, um, allow, ask, block, block, ask, allow, ask first. Usually, uh, Flash players, when you, maybe you're watching a video and you want to make sure, you know, they ask you if you want to. If not, they block it. Uh, block, block. Hey, this is the one thing I uh, recently changed. It was, it was on. I don't know, I don't really understand this, but, but it's, it seems like, you know, if I leave this on, this will allow closed site to finish sending and receiving data. If you guys are expert out there, if you understand what is this, please leave in a comment below because I recently turned this off. I'm thinking if I see something that's weird and I want to turn off the bother right away, it seems like it will finish sending and receiving data, which I don't, that's, I don't think that's why I wanted it. I think when I close the browser, I expect everything to be shut off, you know, not no downloading, no nothing. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with, do with what just happened to me. So I turn it off just in case because I'm thinking because I turn off the downloading when I was watching the video. I turn it off, but then somehow it finished. I'm not sure if this is the reason why it finished. So I turn it off. This is the most uh, recent setting I did. I turn it off. Everything else, you know, you have go do them and make sure... You know, like, do not allow any site to download multiple files. See, I wouldn't want that either. So I turned that off to make sure. So yeah, just go do them and make sure you have your setting the way you wanted it. You know, a content setting. That way, you know, I'm not sure how they're able to manage to, to infect my browser. But, you know, it's, it's better safe than sorry. So go do your setting to add another layer of protection, you know, just in case. And, okay, after you finish with the setting and everything. And you notice when, when that happens, when you see your command prompt, when you first notice that, try to think back. What have you been using recently? Like, did you went on Facebook? Did you went on your YouTube? Or did you went on to some uh, banking or, or anything? I suggest you go to the site right now. After you're done with everything, you have a brand new browser. I suggest you go change the password. Just in case. I mean, I don't know what they do. You know, I, I could only assume that they can probably get your keystroke or implant ad. I don't know what they did. They probably sent document over and then they know what you type. You know, so it's better uh, for peace of mind. Just change the password. For your Facebook, your email, whatever you use recently. But if anything, just change everything, you know. And always, don't make sure you don't use the same password for everything. Okay, you always should have a different set of password for everywhere. Because if one place get hacked, you can only assume that password get listed into like the password cracker. I don't know what it is. And it might, you know. So yeah, you get, you get what I'm saying. So what you need to do is just get a piece of notepad or something. And write down all your password. It's, and don't use the same password. It's, it's better that way. Trust me. And uh, yeah, so pretty much that's about it. Um, I hope this solved your issues. And uh, alright, good luck.